What's up guys, welcome to your third JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over variables. Now what a variable in JavaScript is, is just a placeholder for something else. For instance, a variable could hold a long string of text, or it can hold a bunch of numbers, or it can hold an equation for something else, as we'll be going over soon. So the most basic variable we have is just a simple text variable. And to do the syntax for variable, we always start with the word var. This tells JavaScript, all right, JavaScript, we're going to be working with a variable next. So whatever we type next is going to be our variable. So if I want a variable named name, I would have to type var name. Now whatever we want the name to be equal to, we have to put an equal sign and close it in quotation marks. So I'm going to name mine Tony Haas. Oops. And of, cor of course, quotation marks. Now, anytime you type a name in the rest of your JavaScript, it's going to output the value Tony Haas. So let me just show you guys. Let me make an alert box. And I type name right here. Now, instead of just outputting the word name, it's going to output Tony Haas. So let me save this. As you can see, it outputs Tony Haas in the alert box. Now besides from just names, you can also output basic numbers. So say we had a variable named name and it was equal to 14. As you can see, if you save it, and remember, don't enclose your numbers in quotation marks. As you can see, the variable name is now equal to 14. And besides just being able to use variables to store little pieces of information, you can also use it to store equations. For instance, if we had the variable name and we wanted to make an equation, say 14 plus 32 times 55 divided by 4. Now the variable name stores the value for whatever the heck of this is. So let's save this and refresh it. And as you can see, JavaScript X is a huge calculator and stores the value of whatever the word name is in that. So why is this useful? It's useful because instead of every time you wanted to type this whole long equation, in the rest of your code, all you have to type is the word name, and it's equal to this equation. So say you had you were going on and you were typing some more, and you had some code down here, some code down here. Anytime that you changed your code, say you want to make that 13 instead of 14, you wouldn't have to go and change this equation and this equation and this equation. JavaScript would automatically apply the changes to each one of these automatically. So it saves you a bunch of time and a bunch of work. So just making a single equation or a string of text and applying it as many times as you can. So now that you have a basic understanding of variables, in my next tutorial, I'm going to be going over some more complex things that you can do with them and a lot more useful things. Thanks. Bye.